Imagine we're on a spacecraft trying to push the limits of speed, hoping to see what happens if we dare to approach or even exceed the speed of light. In science fiction movies, bending space-time often looks fantastical and surreal, like watching space curl around us as if we're inside a special effect. We might ask ourselves whom we'd encounter out there, or how we'd handle perplexing questions and tricky phenomena that arise when we move incredibly fast through our universe. These issues lie at the heart of special relativity, which is Albert Einstein's groundbreaking theory explaining how time and space are interwoven and why the speed of light is a cosmic speed limit and general relativity, Einstein's extension that describes gravity and the curvature of space-time. If we imagine a spaceship accelerating off Earth, its initial condition might seem simple, like a train departing a station, yet the differences in perception and the curious effects quickly accumulate. When a train crosses the landscape, it's impossible for passengers to feel precisely whether they're moving or the ground is moving. Similarly, once we accelerate into deep space, we notice new effects such as collisions at high speed. Even a tiny speck of dust can become extraordinarily dangerous, so our hypot, hetical vessel, might be equipped with a force field, basically a conceptual shield that repels debris, to travel freely without catastrophic damage. The faster we move, the more optical illusions arise. For instance, rain no longer appears to fall from above, but from the front, bending toward our line of travel and making us feel as if the drops are coming straight at us. This striking alteration of perspective grows as our acceleration increases. It can look like everything is converging in front of us, and it highlights how velocity warps our perception of the environment. If we keep speeding up, we also have to think about what it means to observe distant stars. The light we see from them started traveling perhaps thousands of years ago, so in a sense, by looking far into space, we're peering back into the past. From our spaceship, as we move away from Earth, a distant observer on Earth would see our clock slow down due to what we call the Doppler effect, which is the shift in the frequency of waves, including light, relative to an observer's movement. Over time, the light from Earth would become red-shifted, meaning it shifts toward the red end of the spectrum, so signals from home arrive increasingly delayed and appear more and more stretched out in wavelength. Meanwhile, from our perspective, we might claim that Earth is moving away from us, but this mutual observation hints at how different reference frames interpret time uniquely in special relativity. If we zoomed away and then turned back, we'd discover that our clock and Earth's clock no longer match. This is famously associated with the twin paradox, an illustration of how traveling at high speed and returning leads to one, twin being younger than the other, showing us how time is not absolute but depends on our path through space-time. From the spaceship's vantage point, the entire universe might appear to move backward, becoming contracted along the direction of our travel. This is an actual phenomenon known as length contraction, which states that objects measured along the axis of motion will seem shorter at near light speeds. At extremely high velocity, one could, in principle, traverse thousands of light years in what feels like mere seconds on board the craft. Even though observers back on Earth would say the journey took thousands of years, However, visually, a planet we pass may not look like a squashed object because of another interesting effect sometimes, called the Terrell Penrose rotation, where the backside of an object is seen in slightly older light than the front side, making it seem as though the object has rotated rather than simply been flattened. Likewise, to someone watching us from behind, our spaceship might not look obviously contracted either, because they see us with their own delayed images. No matter how long we constantly accelerate, though, we can never actually reach the speed of light itself, let alone surpass it. From our perspective, light always outruns us at the same speed. This is one of the fundamental postulates of relativity. Even if people on Earth watch our speedometer climb ever closer to that cosmic limit, from our own viewpoint, we're still considered relatively motionless. And photons, light particles, simply keep moving away from us at the universal speed limit. If we attempted to accelerate indefinitely, the optical effects in front of us would intensify to an extreme. Everything in front would bunch up and glow brilliantly, while signals behind us would eventually never catch up, vanishing from our view altogether. All this sounds daunting, but then we might wonder if there's a loophole, such as the idea of a warp drive from sci-fi. General relativity, which describes how mass and energy warp the fabric of space-time, suggests that if space itself could be bent or folded, we might effectively move faster than light by creating a sort of bubble around the spacecraft. 
often referred to as an Alcubierre drive in speculative physics. In such a scenario, we aren't so much speeding through the vacuum as we are distorting space around us, potentially allowing the region ahead to contract and the region behind to expand. An outside observer might see a strange effect where the ship is enclosed in this bubble and space is warping around it so that the usual rule of nothing moving faster than light isn't strictly violated within the bubble's local space-time. However, this remains theoretical and far beyond our current engineering capabilities. From inside the warp bubble, we'd notice the sky intensely brightened in front and dark behind, since light from certain regions can't keep up with us, creating dark patches where no photons arrive. Such speculation highlights the mind-bending predictions of relativistic physics. Travelling near the speed of light reshapes our experience of space and time leads to bizarre optical illusions like forward falling rain and Penrose rotation, and tempts us to dream of warp drives that might let us circumvent the cosmic speed limit by cleverly manipulating space-time itself. Yet even with all these futuristic possibilities, the unbreakable rule is that, from any normal standpoint, we cannot simply outrun light. Einstein's theories, confirmed by countless experiments, preserve that speed limit even as they allow for these fantastical scenarios where the universe twists into extraordinary shapes and timescales. It's a fascinating glimpse into how reality truly works, reminding us that our everyday intuitions about distance, motion, and simultaneity are only approximations for a much richer cosmic stage. Subscribe it. Subscribe channel and click like. That makes you smart.